What's good YouTube fam? I'm coming at y'all again with another tutorial. This was requested. This was the eye that I wore, I believe, when I did the eyes um, edition. Let me turn my music down, y'all. Because I'm jamming just a little bit too much. Okay, so anyway, yes, this was requested. The, eye, uh, the look that I had on when I did the um, products that I'm loving right now, eye edition. And if you are interested in getting this look, uh, just keep watching. So I'm using just typical palettes that I'm sure uh, uh, most people will have. And um, let's get started. The first color will be coming out, which will be this shiny silvery uh, champagne color. will be coming out the Ultimate Blockbuster by um, Profusion. I got this at Walgreens, I believe, um, in January or December. It might have been a little bit earlier than that close to Christmas and this was only $10 it comes with 120 sh uh, shadows and they're um, really shimmery from the first palette we are going to be working with this color right here so we're going I've already got my eye primed with the Ur uh, Urban Decay Primer Potion I've already got my um, my base on there y'all know elf elf cream shadow and then we're just gonna start applying that um, really champagne color I'm gonna um, <laughs> Sorry, pardon me. I'm going to grab a flat shader brush and we are going to start packing on that color in that uh, right in the corner. We're going to go one third over and we're also going to go into the crease. Ow. This is like straight drag make uh music. I love it. And I'm gonna go over just a little bit more because I'm gonna need that color um for blending so we have a very smooth transition. Alrighty, next I'm going to keep that palette open because uh, we'll need it for blending. Next I'm going to go to the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me a Hello um, 8 palette and we are going to be working with this blue right here. As you can see I changed my nail design guys. Um, they match my earrings. So that is the design in case you're interested. And then I'm going to grab some with my finger and I'm going to pat it on and it helps with the blending when you're trying to merge colors that... Um, uh, vary like have a huge variation so it helps with the blending of the colors see how that's blending starting to blend already let's pat it right on in there alrighty the next I'm going to grab my Sony Cash Shook Small Eyeshadow Brush and then we're going to start building up that color so it's very vibrant. And as I'm building, I'm going to continue to keep uh, blending into that champagne color. Yes, as y'all can see, I am rocking a new girl. It's a short pixie. I love it. This is the new girl that I was talking about that I had recently ordered and I just couldn't wait till it came in. Actually, I wore it on the one video when I did the uh, You Can Rock a Red Lip. I just had a hat on her. But I am feeling her, y'all. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about her. I'm trying to short look. Um, I love short hair, although I will not be cutting my hair because I am on a growth journey. I am trying to grow her my hair all the way out. Okay. We are going to put this palette down because we're done with this for right now. And I'm going to pick up my 88 matte palette. Ooh. I'm dropping products, y'all. We're about to have a problem. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to pick up my 88 matte palette. And there is a, like a blue with a little bit of sparkle in it. And that's what we're going to use on our outer, outer V. It is, can you see, this blue right here. And then we're going to put that into the outer, 
the outer V right in there. And I'm going to use Sony Kashuk. I don't know. This was like a dome all-purpose brush. Found it at my local Target. And then we're just going to start uh, blending it into that uh, turquoise teal blue. Okay, now I'm going to dip back into the Wet n Wild palette, and there is, what is it, the crease blue, it's on this side where the matte black is, and it's that like black with sparkle reflex blue in there, we are going to deepen that outer just a little bit, put a little bit on there, and just kind of blend it over. I don't have too much product. Just put it right in there and then bring it right on over. We're just going to slowly, just a little bit, try to deepen that blue. Alrighty, next I'm going to take um, Fluffy Blending Brush, and then we're just going to kind of buff out this um, harsh line on top. Okay, next I'm going to take another blending brush when I can find it. Sony Cashew Blending Brush, and I'm going to my e.l.f. Um, Encyclopedia um, Eye Edition, I believe. And we are going to be picking up this brown color right here. And that is going to go a little bit on top of that and right in here all the way up to the brow. And we're going to just build the color a little bit at a time. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it as a highlight. Now I'm going to blend it down. Now at this point, uh, we are pretty much done. We're just going to go back and perfect. And I'm going to take a good look in my eyes and see what I need to perfect, what has kind of lost its uh, intensity, and just kind of apply color as needed. And I feel like I've lost some of this blue, so I'm going to reapply some of that. Because that is our main color. I'm going to wipe off my brush. Because I'm going to merge it into that champagne color. And I don't want any um, color added in there. I just want it to blend. Okay. I'm going to just blend as needed. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to take my um, e.l.f. liner in Midnight Blue. 
looks like this just a nice midnight blue color and I'm gonna go ahead and line my um, upper lid And if you want to wing it out, by all means, go ahead. I am. If not, you know, you don't have to. Alrighty. Now that I have that done, I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black, my absolute favorite mascara. I'm going to put some mascara on my top lashes. Alrighty, now that I have that done, I'm going to take this blue Milani liner, which I in the video you'll notice I don't have any liner, but I did talk about I could have used that, and so I'm going to use it. Um, this is the blue Milani Liquify um, Liquify liner, uh, metallic pencil, and it's in aqua. So I'm going to line my lower uh, my lower line, but I'm not going to go into the water line because black is going to be being put there. So you'll have a uh, it looks like that or any like vibrant teal blue color that you have will work just fine okay so now I'm gonna take my Sony Kasha um, from the professional line smudger brush and I am going to add a little bit of that first color that we used in our um, corner of our eye that light and I'm gonna add that right there in the corner so we're just kind of gonna we're just gonna use the same colors across but on the water line And just a little bit, like just right in the tear duct. Okay. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go back into the Blue Had Me a Hello palette and pick up this color. And then we're going to also set the liner with, by, with using that color. Okay. Make sure my waterline is still clear. Then I'm going to go back into the 88 palette with the dark blue, put it right here, and mix it in a little bit with that crease color that we use to deepen that out. So let me grab that real quick. And you guys don't have to have the palettes that I have. Um, if you are interested in them, post a comment. I'll let you know where to find them. But as long as you, you know, you don't have to, you don't even have to use the same colors as I'm using. Um, I'm just hoping that you learn the technique. And that dark bluish black goes in the very, very, very outer corner. And then we're just going to wipe off my smudger brush. And then I'm just going to use it to blend and marry all those colors together. And then I'm going to take my Milani Liquify Eyeliner in black. And I'm going to water my, and then I'm going to line my waterline now. Okay. 
Alrighty, now that I have that done, I'm going to grab my Sun to Sun. I don't know what this one is in. I know this is not terracotta, but I've taken off the um, actual labeling of it. And I'm going to do some bronzing, some high, uh, some contouring. So, and I never do that on videos, but I'm going to do it on this one. So I'm going to grab into the darkest one. And this is an e.l.f. Uh, blush brush, but I use it for contouring. I'm going to go right here in the hollow of my cheek. I'm going to add a light contour. And blend up. Do the same on the other side. Grab a little bit. Go right into the hollow of my cheek. And I put the product on this side and not on this side because I want all the products to kind of go up. And blend up. And then I kind of blend it up a little bit. Not that you'll be seeing any of that anyway, because my curls will be covering that. Okay, next I'm going to take my MAC Studio, uh, no, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. And I'm going to highlight my cheeks. And I'm going to be using um, Sonia Kasha uh, Big Dome Brush, Multi Purpose Brush. And I'm going to apply that right on my cheeks. Just to give it a nice bronze look. Even though it got cold again, I still, you know. This is a nice spring or summer look. Especially when you got a vibrant shirt on. This will be lovely. Okay. Next, I am going to add my blush. This is uh, NARS in Deep Throat. I'm going to grab me a Sony Kashuk uh, blush brush. Tap into that and just apply it to the apple of my cheeks. I love that glow that blush gives me. I got all type of like fuzz balls on my face. It's killing me, y'all. It's killing me. Okay, next for a highlight, I'm going to dip into my Mineralize Skin Finish in Wonder Woman. And I'm going to use that color very lightly with my um, Kabuki Fan Brush. I'm going to run it over the top of the product like that. Kind of tap off a little bit. I'm going to pop it right there. Just right in there. And the access I'll have, I'll just pop it on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and a little bit right there. For a lip, I believe I'm going to go with something pink, light pink. I'm going to do, I don't know why I keep, I, I am forever, I'm going to get that lip stick around. Okay, so I'm going to grab a Revlon's Quilt in blush. Looks like this. And I'm not going to lie on my lips, y'all, because. By all means, go ahead and line your lips if you're going to be rocking this for the day. And then on top of that, I'm going to pop a really light lip gloss. Which is going to be um, Elf's uh, Studio Line Glossy Gloss. This is in uh, Ballet Slippers. That is it, guys. That is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you like. 
hope you try these products or this look at home and as always thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe